So I have a file here that I recorded in Jing, which is an awesome free screencasting tool. Um, allows you to record what's going on on your screen along with audio and then upload it with a couple clicks to screencast.com, which is a website for sharing and embedding video. One of the downsides is that the final file is in Flash, and Flash, as we know, doesn't play on the world's most popular tablet device uh, and one of the world's most popular phones. That's uh, Apple's iPad and iPhone, uh, which both run iOS. Uh, so, <clears throat> a question is posed online, how do I get this video into a format that's not Flash? This is just uh, one proof of concept, um, and uh, it's a free one, uh, but it does require a Mac computer. So to make this happen on a Mac computer, you need a fairly new operating system that has QuickTime Player installed. I've opened QuickTime Player, and I'm going to uh, create a new screen recording from the uh, QuickTime Player file menu. And when I click that, uh, I get a new recording dialog window here, and I can see that my voice is being picked up. There are a few options available from the drop-down menu here. I'm going to click Record, and then I'm going to drag the part of the screen that I want to actually record, which is just my Jing video here. I'll hit Start Recording, and then I will play my video. Here I'm recording something going on on my screen. I'm going to upload it to screencast.com see what my options are for getting it back as a as a file. There we go, I watched my video and I'm going to stop it in QuickTime. Uh, so now I have a video in QuickTime that is actually a different format. It's not a flash based Swift anymore. I'll hit start recording and then I will play my video. I'm recording something going on on my screen. So you see the sound was picked up as well as the visual. Now I have the choice to email this, message it, airdrop it, uh, upload it to YouTube. Once it's at YouTube or Vimeo, then you're using those players to embed, and those use HTML5 for the most part, so it's viewable on all iOS devices. I also have the ability to export locally on my hard drive. I can send it to iMovie if I'm going to add credits or make some tweaks. I can actually use the web button to give me a variety of different uh, file formats, uh, but most teachers use uh, something for the heavy lifting like YouTube or Vimeo. Um, final option, of course, is just to export it as an MOV file uh, right to your desktop.